just want to focus on the screen because like look at these people we get to <laughs> so you i know, picked I, uh can i i have to be honest when i was being interviewed for my master's program yeah there was one course my program director who was interviewing me at the time that she said that i would have to take during the summer i had to like control myself because i was about to say like oh i love criticizing things <laughs> those exact words is, is that a bad to... thing to say though it's a bad thing to say just that it is but if i had said instead oh i love being able to evaluate uh programs to make sure that they are meeting their objectives to ensure that they're um implementing the services and um other other yada, requirements yada, yada. or so to make sure that people are being serviced right. instead of just simply saying oh i love criticizing things yeah it's just learning how to say all the fluff yeah okay that's i had to do that today for another email but yeah you know. all right all right so what let's start with from the top left to the bottom okay so before before we continue let's set some parameters and stuff so okay. are you okay with s a b c and d or should we a, B, C, D. yeah or I'm do you want to change it to like words no I, I mean like i feel like s a b c d everybody's fine okay but that because at least i i mean for audiences in a, a, a america at least will understand it yeah depends on who you're trying to reach but for the purposes that we're trying to do i'm okay with it okay next parameter uh what are we going to base it off of okay because i want to base it off on how they look so aesthetically yeah Okay, so we're we're gonna go in order then. Okay, so it's just just how they look, or how their skills look, or just like the character itself. Physical looks. Physical. Okay. Physical. Looks. Okay. 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 I don't so. care about personality. I just want to go off physical looks. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is so, ladies and gentlemen. This is the character design. That's that's the right word. Uh, this we are gonna judge Genshin Impact characters based off of character design. We got Michael on the other my co-host for this tier list talk oh fun fact a few years ago one of my i was on staff for my club and then my i was co-staff with one person and she asked like oh where is my coat because my like her co-chair remember she was like oh where is my coat because she was referring to her other position i was like oh here i am because <laughs> you know i'm michael michael <laughs> <laughs> all right that's a good start okay so ready for one, who are we? Or is like Traveler, said, male Traveler? Male Where Traveler, okay, look. He looks like a little hipster who's trying to be cool and all of that, but he's like failing in a way. So in a sense, because of that, I would put him in C. B? C. I was going to put him in D. D? Uh, because okay. Because like, okay. He, he, okay, actually, no. I Maybe I would bump it up to C just because he can change like a little bit, right? Because like so that, he, when he changes elements, he's 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 versatile. He he knows how to get around. Yeah. Oh, do we want to do it by order or should like because or should we put the other traveler up too? Female. I was gonna do it by order just because okay. it makes it okay. easier. Okay, that's us. fine. Oh yeah. Because I, look at him. Yeah. Even though he can change elements, that makes him a little whole because he's a little versatile. Because that means he gets around. And think about it. We what? only know about it three different times. I thought times, we were talking okay? about physical looks. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, he, he looks like he gets around. <laughs> okay, well, I guess so. <laughs> okay, so I might bring in some insinuations, but yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I, I'm happy with C too. So okay, he's next a one. C because you see, he's a hoe. Yeah, I mean, he has an earring on one end, on one side too. Oh, side, and he doesn't know. speak. Did you know if a person has an earring on their left or right side or both, it 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 can signify if they're bisexual, straight, heterosexual, or gay, lesbian? It's depending on where they put it, right? So this one, he only has one earring on one side, so we don't know which way he leans towards. But you know, all respect to whatever he wants to do. He or she? Oh, well, wait, wait, he, he, because it's yeah. That's all we know. Okay. I like how this is just one conversation from one character already. I know, this is just... Okay. <laughs> All right. Albedo. Um, okay. Personally, to me, I don't think his style is that cool. His hair, especially his hair, it looks a little... 
funny to wait, me. Wait, I actually just realized too. Do you want to have another tab of how their entire physical appearance looks like too? Just so because look, right now we just have a look at how their head looks. Oh, like. so you want to see their whole body? Just to give an idea. Okay, okay, well, Anna, first of all, I have earrings on both ears, okay? That doesn't mean I play for both sides. It just means I have earrings on both sides. I need to find a place where I can, like, full body image. But also because, Anna, I got them when I was having my quarter life crisis. I know, I couldn't believe I had a core life crisis. I literally just, you know what happened? I was working with my coworkers at the time. Brian at my old job, remember? The bowling yeah. place. <laughs> literally, I walked in and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get ear piercings. And then my friend was like, okay, let's make the appointment right now. <laughs> okay, so this is Albedo. Okay, B tier. B. I give him B? a B. I also I give him C. B really i think b because like he he has this kind of aura where he like he tries to be cool and mm -hmm. he's successful at it he has this confidence about himself but okay well here's the thing right so i know we're, we're doing it based off of physical but yeah. when we speak to him though he's pretty opposite he's kind of coy well, I mean, even if he's coy, he still has this kind of, to, to me, kind of mysteriousness about him that you just can't expect from him. It's like this one time when I entered a fake, not fake, I'm sorry, like a, um, like a parody-ish version of a male beauty pageant when I was in college in my club. And I had that kind of fake appearance where, like, you, you know, my appearance, I was, I looked nice, friendly, approaching. But when I did my talent, like, a lot of people, actually every single person, they might have to say. Yeah thought of me differently because of that so even though he comes off as two-faced as you were saying because even he's one way no he's not two-faced like, no, because two-faced is a like, bad thing isn't it no i i think of two-faced as like you have two different sides to you yeah a good and a bad right usually it always have to be one or the other it could be both yeah yeah I don't know. I the reason why I gave him a C because based off of just physical appearance, like that hairstyle to me is just weird. But also that's because you always shape your head. Yeah, I don't know much about hair. That's not in my wheelhouse. But that so, and then like you know, like the the I don't know what this is called jacket. That looks cool. I like the jacket a lot. I give him a B just because like the way he presents himself in the game. How we talk, and, and also the like, one weird near the one weird knee pad. Um, uh, it, it kind of make. I mean, I think I feel like it com makes him come off as cool. That's from my side, though. So that's what I would give him a B. You you know, okay. Also, because you know who he looks like. You don't play Kingdom Hearts, but he looks like he would be in Kingdom Hearts. But you know what? I'll I'll give him a B. At least his clothing is cool. So I'll I'll give him a B. All right, who's next? Amber? Okay, Amber. Here, Amber. To me, Amber. I like her design. Her design, she looks like if you were to watch anime, and she's the main, she's the girl. She's like the one of the best friends. The unpopular main character be friends, and she's super supportive. She's super friendly. But she's loud, right? And talks a lot. She's loud, but she's always there for you. Yeah. She, wow, she has... Anna, oh my god, you're going to give her a B. I was going to give her a B, too. <laughs> okay, I, I was going to say B, too. Yeah, because, like, she's I, that I, yeah. one person I think who's I always say rooting B. for you. Yeah. She's always that one person rooting for you, but also, and at some point in the anime, you do disappoint her, but then eventually she also becomes your love interest. But then at the same time, you don't know if you ever want to develop that love interest with, yeah. oh my god, another stupid host person following you. I don't think... Yeah, I don't even know what to do. But no, yeah, I, I would say like design wise, I've always liked her. It's just it's just kind of unfortunate that she's just a bad character in terms of her skills. I'm surprised about that too, actually. Yeah, like but I like her design and, and all that stuff. Like she looks she it's like I like how design yeah. wise, I don't care about that actually as much. I thought I that's what we were talking about. No, but no, actually no, I know for the rating wise, that's why I give her a B. But yeah. and if I had to not talk about it, I think I like more her personality because she's just yeah interesting. Okay, yeah. So I agree. B. 
Yeah. All right, next is Ayaka. Yeah, B for bitch. Uh, okay. Why uh, Coco, no, that's, um. Isn't that that's Ayaka? Or she has a different Ayaka. name, right? Ayaka. Ayaka. Yeah, but it's not under A. Oh, Kamisato. Really? No, it's so weird because I know like Raiden Shogun, she's like known as Baal or like Beelzebub or something. No, I thought her name is Raiden Shogun. I thought that's just, that's her name is Shogun. So, no, her official name is Raiden Shogun to us, but like her actual name is like Beelzebub because she her yeah. sister is named. They're both Raiden Shogun. I, I, I need a review, but you know what I mean. I know. Okay, so. So, Kami stop. Okay, Ayaka. We'll call her, we'll her, call her Ayaka, yeah. We'll call her Ayaka. I, her style, I'll give her an A. I actually was going to give her an HC because I like her design. I like that she has a fan. She mm -hmm. has this kind of... She has a very modest look. I like modest, that. but also I would say royalty. Yes. Like, she'll walk in the room and then yes, you know, Michael. like, based on how she dresses, mm -hmm. you know you have to respect her. Yeah, and because, like, you know, she like she's a Japanese character, basically. I like the little, like, samurai-looking side plate thing. I've always been a huge samurai guy, and I kind of like that little, like, samurai stuff. Oh, my. I have to tell you this, too. Remember that one time when um, I visited work? Yes, yes. Oh. The last time. So, um, I when I had to go to the house for the retreat with my other people, mm -hmm. basically, I brought a fan with me because I knew that day was going to be hot. Hot, yeah. Like, a, like the ones you plug in? Beetle. There was this giant beetle that was flying around us. Oh. And it kept getting near us at one point. And when it got nearer to me, I opened that fan out and tried to smack it. Yeah. <laughs> it was just funny because my program director, that my professor, she was sitting right across from me. And she was just laughing at me. She was like, <laughs> I love how extra you are. <laughs> yeah, she's like a she's like a princess samurai. Yeah, so I feel like her design is cool. Hey, yeah, she's solid A. I, I was gonna okay. say, look at it. Uh, so something in psychology that yeah. we like to do when we do stuff like this, it's called inter-rater reliability. Mm -hmm. Reliability just means like if you encounter it one time, the next time you encounter something, you should get the same grading or experience. Yeah. So right now, the experience that we have is from different perspectives, but that we it's the same. And inter-rater wise, that's mean it's between the two of us or multiple people, so that we have the basically. We're rating these people similarly, or at least, if not similarly, very next to each other. Oh. So, like, how you were saying, like, Albedo was, should have been a C, but I said B. Like, that was closer than if I were to say Albedo should have been an S. Yes, and, and I said D, right? Yeah. Ah. So, that, that's in a rate of reliability, basically. I see. Um, Barbara, okay. okay. So, wait, her last name is Peg? <laughs> oh, that's sad. Barbara Peg? And if Jean's Wait. her sister, Jean Peg. Jean. What? <laughs> That's okay. So weird. We're going okay. based off. The, it's just so, sounds so just like looks, it, right? It just it's just sucks that we're going off of looks, but we're talking about overall to how I present them. Too. Okay. Did you want to start over based off overall, like everything? No. <laughs> you don't want to do that. No, because we're already here, and it sounds fun, and I'm not already buzzed. So. Okay. Because we can Anna do it again saying, some other time where we over rate them overall. Anna is saying Jean has a different last name. Okay. Okay. Let's do a second. We'll do a second list. We'll do it some after. Time. Maybe if I'm maybe, a little bit more drunk. Maybe when Michael's either more drunk or sober. <laughs> Dude, if I'm more drunk, that'd be much more fun. Well, I feel like if you are more drunk, then doing the how they look is more funnier because you get to right versus like Wait. oh I think she's an S tier because she she heals she whatever whatever. Like, that okay. sounds more like a sober does, mind type of thing. Does that mean I should go drink more? Well, if you want to do bait. Well, I'm just saying. That, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying you should, you should go. I'm just buzzed. Yourself, that's it. I'm so sorry. I'm, I know. I feel like I can make this show a little bit more entertaining. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. So that's why if you want to start. Because, you know, we've only done four characters. So, like, it's, we still got a lot to go. Oh, Barbara. I, yeah. I feel like. So design wise. I'm gonna say either a B or C. I was gonna say a B because she her her design's simpler. Yeah, but okay, are we also including the skin or no? Uh no, here's the thing though, because she's got a nice um, skin. 
She and Jean are the only ones that have skin. So far, if we yeah. were to consider skin, that'd be biased compared to the other characters because they do not have skin. Okay, so based off of her original look. Yeah. Yeah, she's very cute. She's, she's uh very, she you know she made. looks like she looks like the very naive girl who's a little bit like a hoe. What? <laughs> kind of. Like she portrays this naiveness about uh-huh. her. Uh-huh. But deep down she's a hoe. I like what you're thinking, Michael. <laughs> well, because, yeah, so she's supposed to be an idol character, but she's a maid. Right? I guess so. Um, But, you know, yeah, I, I would give her a B. B for Barbara? <laughs> sure. B for Barbara. You know, that makes sense. Oh. Okay, who's next? Beidou. Beidou. Oh, okay, you know what, Beidou? I like she... her design a lot. I want to give her an A or an she... S. Okay, she looks like wait. She is wait, Anna. What do you what we want to know? What do you think she is exactly? I'll tell you mine. So she looks like the rebellious teenager who got kicked out of her house when she was a teenager, and then she had to live on the street as a homeless person who lived mm-hmm. off the scraps and then became a lesbian. But then she knew how to be a survivor off on her own. She's bad. Or not bad. Uh, she's really cool. I don't know. So in a sense, like she knew how to be a badass as she was growing up, because yes. she had to do a lot for herself. So I was. Michael. I an a. It also says her name translates to Big Dipper. Big Dipper, <laughs> like the one in the sky. Beidou in Chi- Beidou in Chinese, I guess means Big Dipper. It's just still, I'm still astounded at some point because I know like all these people. Like the the Chinese names in um Romanized from Chinese to English. Mm-hmm. Like remember when I told you the the Fatui? Yeah. In in Chinese the name is actually Fatwe. <laughs> that it's makes so, more sense, yeah. It's so different. Fatui. <laughs> that I'm that makes like, how they get Fatui from? No, because I, like, I, I just said it like that. But yeah. because uh, like, like, sometimes I forget Genshin is Chinese. It, it is, yeah. Sometimes I so forget I'm that. I, I like that they're taking um, inspirations from around the world to do these regions. Like, you know, yes. Um, I like Mondstadt, that too. Oh, Mondstadt is, is German, but if you were to pronounce it in German, it's actually Mondstadt or something Mondstadt. like that. Yeah, something like that. And then Lidia is. Uh, let me I see know, right? Here. China, but let me look up the actual pronunciation if I can. Yeah, Beidou, I would give maybe an S or an A. I would give. She's got a really cool Claymore too in her picture. I give her an A. An A? Okay, yeah. I can go A. Based off design wise. I don't know why I thought she was a rebellious teenager who turned lesbian. I don't know why. Is it because of her eye patch? It shows that she's been through things? Probably. Yeah. But she's super. She has the chorus. Okay. Okay. Wait. What? Anna, what, what zodiac sign are you? Zodiac? Is that the Asian thing? No, um, there's an Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer. The Asian one is the animals. No, I thought the Asian one was called the Zodiac, and I thought the uh the American. Oh no, that there is. It's called the. the or. So um, there's two different types of zodiacs. Yeah. The Chinese zodiac is the animals. Yes. Yes. The other zodiac is like the stars. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. Oh, I thought they're called Libra. something else. I don't know what they're called. Because people just say, zodiac. "What's your sign?" That's what they say, right? Like, uh, yeah, usually. Yeah, I don't know what I am, but okay. The next character, Bennett. Okay. Here, here's his. Yeah, here's the full. Instead of Bennett, here's the full character. He looks like the little kid who tries to be an adult. I was going to say, he looks like a character, like in a video, like in another video game where like he's the main kid. Who's the main, like he's the main character, but like he's, you know, that kid. He, Tim, sorry, I'm like choking right now. Oh, take it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's not on purpose. Um. To, to me, he just looks like the, the young average. kid who tries to fit in as an adult. 
but he doesn't fit in and he tries to uh, uh, act mature but it's never successful because of how he is so he just needs that time to develop himself to mature. in order to get to the point where he can be where he believes himself to be but he's very prematurely believing him to be way ahead in the future but he has to understand that he has to take his time yeah i feel like he he's like that one kid who like uh to hide his like not immaturity but like when he's around other people he tries to like pretend that he's older than what he is so, you know what i mean and then like so he, yeah but in terms of looks i would probably say well i i will say for me the, the description I'm giving off of is based on his looks. Yeah. So, yeah. Cause no, yeah. Based off his looks, he looks like one of those kids who like will act older when he's actually younger. Mm-hmm. Like he wants to, he, he thinks he's mature, like from, but he's not cause he's still young. I would say, I would say he's C. I, I wouldn't it's- give him D. Well, also, like, do we count D as, like, like an F, basically? I guess we can in this case. I can add an F tier, but, like, I don't think anyone's an F tier, though. I want to say a D. You say D for Bennett? You would yeah. say that Traveler looks better than Bennett? I think so. Interesting. But, uh... That's what yeah, I, cause I'm saying I'm thinking C or D. Like, if anything, like a C minus or something. But okay, oh, oops, I'll put him D. C there. minus, but he, you know, like you were mentioning, if he's a C minus, he's basically on that verge. Yeah. Okay. Who's next? uh Chong Yun, right? Chong Yun. Okay. okay. Chong. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. So here's the difference I noticed about Chong Yun. No. I'm gonna say C. I was gonna say he's actually in terms of appearance wise. Mm-hmm. He's so much a better where they do look like they're trying to act older, but I guess I don't know because of the way Chong Yun dresses or how I'm he say is. Mm-hmm. But he, it seems like he's more successful at looking immature than Bennett does. He's he just looks young. He looks like a brash kid. He looks young. Like, and you know brash. he's loud mouth. But I can kind of see him as like Wait, even though he's young. younger. Mm-hmm. I can feel like the difference between him and Ben is that Bennett try dresses like I, an older person, tries to act like an older person. But Chong Yun, he does dress like an older person, but he's able to act like an older person. But also because he it doesn't come off as like fake. He's able to do it because he is a mature person. I, I would say out of him and Bennett though, I think Bennett is more of the good kid. And Chong Yun is actually the bad kid. Like Chong Yun to me is like kind of like think of like um I think of like a Sasuke. Like a Sasuke. Chong Yun. And and Bennett to me, and Bennett to me is like Naruto. True. But then here's the thing though, I feel like a lot of people well. Actually, no, I can't say because I don't know. <laughs> because Ch- Chong Yun is uh, ice, you know, so he's supposed to be more cooler. Well, Bennett is fire because he's hotter. Hothead. Okay, sure. <laughs> Isn't he like underage, Michael? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I didn't want to say <laughs> That's why he's cool headed. Yeah, so what, what would you say? I said C for Chong Yun. I was gonna say the same too. Okay. We, we. All right. Ooh. D legit look. D look. Let me okay, tell I'm gonna you. Okay, i straight out. This He's a S tier. I was gonna say A. A. Yeah. Because to me, A is like super good already. But if you're S, He's an you're, S. Well, then like you super super. The the reason why is because he looks like he's the main character of this game. To me, he gives off that, like, the way he dresses, that personality. He looks super cool. I think. I mean, maybe his hair, too, I guess, Anna. But to me, the way he dresses, it's kind of like 
He just does whatever he really wants. He dresses however he wants, acts however he really wants, and he doesn't care about the consequences. But at the same time, it's like. But, but he can also it, like it, hold his own too. It's it's well for I was gonna say a little bit too rebellious, to yeah. to um. To be, I, I mean, I say that just because sometimes if you act the way that you want to be, however you want to be, mm-hmm. you choose to not follow rules. Let's say, so it to me it doesn't describe the epitome of like an S tier mm-hmm. character. That's why I would give him an A. But Michael, okay, his Anna, jacket, you, hmm? his jacket has fur. That's your point. Think about it. Fur. Fur. S T, right? Big... Imagine running with him for several months. I got so bored looking at him. Is it because you didn't like looking at him as much? He's not as attractive. He's hot. How? Oh! I mean, he is pyro. <laughs> yeah. Which reminds me. Um, I need He's to get awesome. apples on my system. I'll be right back. Okay. He's an S tier for me. Come on, dude. He's D. Luke. Ragnavinder. He owns a, a, a winery. Dude, S tier all day. Dude, look at that, that circle thingy. He's got two of them. And I like this, like the captain top. S tier, S tier. Yeah, we got. Oof, look at this whole list. We got so much, so much to go for. This is this is pretty fun. <laughs> you all right? You know. So he comes off as this like cool character. I'm trying to remember an anime I watched. Like if he if he resonates with any of them. It's like he, you know, like he's the main person you would go to if you have issues. Yeah, because like, he'll he can solve all cool, your problems. Yeah, but won't do it for you. He's like a Jiraiya in a way. Well, Jiraiya, no, Jiraiya is like you know. Dumb. Actually, I don't. No, he's not a part of it though. Yeah, yeah. He, he this guy's more like um. We're talking Naruto. He's like a. Or any anime. What is there? Well, cause I'm trying. To, uh, Ooh, if you guys watch American Horror Story, it's like not. season three of Coven when Cordelia, one one of the main characters, the witches, her name is Cordelia. The yeah. main person, she has a mom. Her name is Fiona, but Fiona, look, she's she's a bitch anyway. But <laughs> um, she, there's this other character. Her name is Myrtle Snow, also a witch in the Coven. A Coven is basically a group of witches. Yes. And Cordelia, remember the daughter. She actually does look up to Myrtle because she feels that Myrtle has been more of a mother than uh, Cordelia's own mother. Yeah. So I feel like, in a sense, D. Lucas, in that sense, where like he's that person you can always go to, to like you know, you want to go out to the bar. Okay, you go out to the bar with him. You want to go out to the club. You go out to the club with him. If you want to like just talk about advice and stuff like that with him, then you go to him. You know? Yeah, like yeah, he 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 just he seems like the cooler older brother, or like the cool cooler fam- older brother that still is somehow single. Like like okay, so like you know in fairy tale, what was his name? Gildart. Do you remember him? Anna's dad. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know how he's super cool and like he's like all right because he seems like a guy who wouldn't be around all the time, but then like if you need him, you know where to find him. Oh my god, I still remember when Kana found out that Gildar was her dad and the Tenro Island arc. That was so, that was so, um, yeah. not nostalgic, but like, it was like a little heartwarming, but also kind of like, yeah, wow. Yeah, but anyway, I, I still, I would say S. What were you, Michael? You still, you know, that makes a? sense. He is kind of like a Gildar's person, so but I would give him an A. An A? I, I would. All right. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'll give him A. It's fine. I would just say S just because I feel like, uh, cause I just feel like the game is kind of was based off of him. Okay, that's fine. Next one is Diona. All right, let's see Diona. Uh, <laughs> this one's Diona yeah, this one's easy. She's like a C or B. 
Because Diona to me. D for Diona. Oh. <laughs> oh, I said B, like bitch. You would you would give her a B? Because to me, she just she's she's just a girl who's cosplaying as a cat. <laughs> well, to me, she looks like the annoying little sister who's always there bugging you, always wanting to go on an adventures with you. But even though you never want her there, she ends up being somehow successful or like super helpful in a way. That's why I put her a D. Well, that's why I gave her like a B or C. He's the daughter of Draft. Oh, I didn't know that. Who the hell's Draft? He's that one oh, guy in that one me. village. He's like the main dude in the village. You know? What I'm oh, talking? that guy, the guy with the cat ears. Yeah, I didn't know Diona was his daughter. I would say D for Diona. Just because of what you just said. Like, she's that annoying character that, like, you know, you don't really want her around, but, like, um, once in a while, you're like, man, I do kind of miss her, though. It's kind of like, uh, like, in Sailor Moon, she's like a chibi Sailor Moon. Yeah, that's why I gave her a D. That's why I, I think she's... Okay, a C. I think she's a C. So between a C, C or a D. D or a D? Yeah. I gave her a D, but it's up. he wants to give her an A, and I don't agree <laughs> with that at all. We should have had like an uneven number so that we could have had a tiebreaker. No, technically we are uneven because it's you. But she says A. Okay, if she says A, C, and D, I think in the middle we'll go with C, right? C for cat. Yeah, so we'll give her a C. We'll bump her up. I'll bump her up. I'll bump her down. Actually, no, that, well, whatever. She sucks. Okay, Fischl. <laughs> Fischl. Fischl, to me, she looks like the type of girl in high school who who's popular and who looks down on other people. You think popular? Talk... No, I like, think gosh. How... Just without the black hair. I feel like it's because of how she dresses. Like she tries to look cool. But, like, like for a high school, though? Like I I don't think she's like because high school popular right is all glitz and and flashy and glamour and stuff like that. You know, Not like always, I feel like so... she I feel like she likes she looks like the type of person who keeps to herself and like stays away from you know. I feel like it's because of the way she dresses. Do you guys know her real name? Her name is Fischl. Superficial. Uh, her really name's Amy. Uh, that's not true if it's not in the Genshin Impact Wiki page. Yeah, so her name's not Amy. I think you just made it up. If it's not here, it's not legit. You know what I mean? Someone, someone on Reddit probably just told you that, and you probably just believe. I would say official, though. I would probably give her, a, like, a C. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. There's this huge Japanese YouTuber who does cooking stuff I watch all the time. Mm-hmm. Her name her name is Ochikeron, right? So okay. I always thought her, her name was Ochikeron, but I think one time on Google or something, I could have done an uh, email or something. Her name had popped up, and it turns out her name is Amy. And I'm like, wait, so your name is Amy? And not uh-huh. Ochikeron? <laughs> Did that upset you, Michael? It did. It did for a day. <laughs> you feel it because you were lied to? Because then in Japanese, instead of saying Amy, her name would be, be pronounced Ami. Oh. But I, I, yeah, I'm giving her a C. So I would give her a B. A B? What about you, Anna? What would you give this? I'm giving her a C. B, B? for me, too. All right, I guess B. Hey, look at the Anna between you and that we have. You guys have similar that, tastes. Um, high innovator reliability, which is actually really good in psychology. Okay, who's uh, John? You. Research stuff. By the, so yeah. By the way, to everyone out there, I majored in psychology. Yes, yes, he did. I'm gonna give Ganyu an A. I like I, the horns I, on th- her. It makes her interesting because I like that how it contrasts with her hair. But also her design way, she looks like, ooh, it looks like the sec- the sexy secretary you have an affair with, but then you tell yourself eventually you should stop doing it. What? 
Like she works at an office or something? Yeah. <laughs> I, I say A. I like her design a lot. I, I would say A too. I was going to say, that for me, though, it's the horns that bumped it down for me. I'm not a fan like, of goat horns. I actually think the horns is what actually makes her look cool. No, I, I think it fits her. Like, it fits her pretty good, but I'm just not a fan of, like, goat horns. I think it makes sense for her anyway, because when yeah. we described her as a sexy secretary she, who has, who has affairs, because she could be horny with the, her coworkers or something, you know? She's a human, right? Uh, she's She's half... Of each half adept is half human. Yeah, so I would give her an A. I, I like her a lot. Wu Tao. Wu Tao. Okay. Wu Tao. She looks like right there, right there above. Yeah. Okay. She looks like <sighs> no. Okay, hear me out. Mm -hmm. She looks like the young religious girl on campus who wants to spread a word of Jesus Christ and God. But then when she tries to, people keep telling her, like, she'll ask them, like, oh, have you found Jesus yet? But then the other people would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just didn't have time for that. Oh. <laughs> Maybe later. I was going to say she seems very happy-go-lucky. So I, I, that's why I was saying the religious person, because yeah. who's, who's, be, who's just able to go out there yeah. and just talk about random things or such and just be... um. I always say, like, kind of have a character about mm -hmm. it and be able to just be happy about what she's doing instead of just feeling like everything she's doing is just a slave's chore. And I know I'm just saying this based off the way she's dressed, but she looks like a little slutty person in a way because of, like, she always has no leggings and such. But, yeah. like, in, in a sense, like, how she presents herself, it doesn't matter how she dresses because it's a personality that shines. I was going to say... um so what from what you said about the religious thing, I was gonna say like even though she tries to go to people and say like have you heard of or have you found Jesus and stuff, but like people still find her endearing though. Like they don't hate her. I feel like because of her yeah, personality wise, yeah. like they even though yeah, she asks that question all the time, people still like her. Uh -huh. So I but based off of the look and character design I'm going to have to say B or C. <laughs> it's just so funny because I didn't even think about what letter tier she should be involved in. Yeah. I would say either B or C. Wait, Anna. So she has a character story. Okay. Well, you know but what? We're not that here for makes... that. That's not we're what not we're here, here for. for. We're, just we're not, we're not here we're, for we're, that. Not we're today. Basing off, we're basing off of their, how they, um... oh, Look. I know they all have. Yeah, we're just basically off of looks today. <laughs> we're shallow no, today. We're very shallow. Oh, we're like that song by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. We're in a shallow. Yes, that one. Yeah, I'm um, say B or C. I would give her a B, verging on an A, but more B. Oh, so like, okay, yeah, I'm st yeah, B to me sounds pretty good. Oh, Jean. Okay, you know what? First of all, this sucks. You know why? I, because my I like mind and how I talk right now is not buzz, but my physical movement is. Oh. What? Gosh darn it. Okay, Jean. Okay. I like her design a lot. I, I'm actually thinking about giving Jean an S. An S? Because I was also, she I has was... this kind of suave, cool personality about her that she's just she's she knows she's a superior person. She's yes. confident, and all people know that about her. And so she's like the you know the student body class council president in the high school in the Japanese animes. Michael, have you seen the the anime uh, Don Machi? No. Okay. Uh, she seems like oh. Tail. She's like uh, L uh what's her name? Ez Ezra? No. Elza Oh no. Erza. Erza. Erza, yeah. Um but when she the... but not in her she, goofy mode. She kinda has that like kind of um she's really classiness. Cool. 
classiness. Yeah, she's she's really cool. I would also give her S tier. I would give. I think she's. So Anna would also give her an A. So we're pretty close to each other. I'm saying S though. Kaya, okay. (laughs) Uh, Kaya, Kaya a D. A D. I was gonna give him a C because I like his style of the top. You know what I mean? I. <laughs> okay, I I would give him a D because similar to Bennett, he tries to act cool, but like in a sense, where Bennett he comes off looking young, Kaya does look is older, older mm-hmm. but in a sense too, the way he dresses and how he acts, it it really just makes him look so superficial, where to the point where like it just comes off very comical in a way. So I feel like for Kaya, it would make sense for him as a D. Also, I would add too because it just makes him look very douche. He does seem very douchey. He does have that look. I will, I will give you that. Because he's like, oh, I'm like better than you. But he's also very suave. Yeah. So that's that's why I would give him a D in, in my perspective. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I would say C. Because I'm trying to compare the characters also to the, whoever else was on the list. Because notice how Bennett, we have him categorized as this young person trying to act older yeah. than he is. So in a sense, he's not being the realistic person that he is. For Kaya, it's a similar idea, but just a different uh, concept-wise. Yeah, you could I'll give him a D. Why not? He's ugly. <laughs> No, I just still can't believe the story arc behind it. Okay, come on, Anna. First of all, you have no control over this. You can put some input, but you yeah, you, 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 we can hear your opinion, but this is our list. If you'd like, you, okay. you can make your own list. <laughs> <laughs> he is a D. Okay, ka-ching. ka-ching. I like her design a lot, too. Ka-ching. I'd give her a B. I was going to say A or B. Because reason- she looks like that. The one girl in high school who is popular, but a lot of people don't like her because of her attitude. Yes. She, she does seem like the super popular girl. Like, she, she has that little click of hers. Right? Yeah, I was going to say A or B, but I'm, I'm okay with B. Yeah. Oh, Anna thinks B, too. Okay. Yeah. See? Look at us. We're See? like, I we're like the three musketeers and we think you're like, we don't look okay. alike, obviously, because one, two of us are not age. I mean, our ages. <laughs> It took a while for you to get there, but you got it. I know. All right, Klee. Klee, okay, I would actually give Klee an A, because she's like, she's innocent. She's Her? learning new things. She's a child. The way she dresses, she looks like she's in, in pre-K. Her comparing to Diona, Klee is, is, Klee is far cuter. It is. Like, she, like she's like uh, like a young cousin. Like, you just want to hang out with her all the time and spin her around the room. What do we give her? I would say I, I, I would say A. A? Yeah. I can go with A. I can go with A. Yeah, she's she's just a cute kid. Okay. Ooh. Lisa. I like her design a lot. For real. So I would probably give her an A. Lisa, she kind of has this. Uh, in this sense, she looks kind of haughty. Mm-hmm. Haughty is like arrogantly superior and disdainful, according to dictionary.com. Oh, like that's an actual word. Yeah. H A U G H T Y. Oh, but at the like... same time, where like she, she, um, Okay, Anna, you, you should know your English because B, librarian, does not start with B. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but Lisa, like, she, she, <laughs> <laughs> she looks like this. Um, B for Lisa. Like, like she acts cool. She she knows her place. She. She doesn't want to deal with BS from anybody. I was going to say she seems like the mother who wants to hang out with her daughter's friends. Also like a MILF in a way. 
I guess. Oh, Anna, you said boobs. Okay, in a sense, I know you. I saw your sense. Took first, first, but I thought you meant like beef a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but I would give. I her, would say. I give her. Yeah. A. I was. I would say B. B. Oh, B I guess so because she is kind of like she's just a witch, right? Yeah, that's uh, I guess. Yeah. I'll give her. I'll give her B. Okay, girl traveler. Female traveler. Okay. Oh yes. <laughs> Female traveler. Um, Lumine. Female card. Here you go. Female portrait. I would say she should match her brother counterpart with a C. Wait, now can you go to her brother? Yeah, see, originally it's... I gave him a D, but. Notice that her co their color is different. Very different. She's white. He's brown, not not raised by so obviously. The clothes, clothes, clothes. She she has a more white, so I feel like the way she dresses, she has a more pureness to her. Yeah, that's why I gave her. I I would say C though. Than her brother. Just no, with so, her brother matches with her matches with her brother. Um, I kind of feel like even though she's dressed in white, there's a purity about. Puritiness uh -huh. about her, uh -huh. especially with the little flower on her head. But at the same time, we all kind of feel like a down a down low. She's a little hoe. Wait, we all or you? <laughs> I mean, what you know? We all. <laughs> um, yeah, that's why I said C. To match her brother. So you, I like a high C. Mm hmm. I guess so. Sure. Yeah, I don't think she's higher than that. Oh, Mona. Mona dressed up, dressed like the most intellectual person that she can possibly be. That's what I feel like I get from her. So oh, what I would say, like A or oh, B. You know what I, I remember? Maybe B. She looks like one of those emo, emo, emo people. I remember I was watching American Dad, right? And so it turns out, do you know the characters of American Dad? Kind of. So uh, do you know the character Steve? Uh, Haley's boyfriend? <laughs> no, oh, no, no. The brother, the brother, right? Steve is the boyfriend. Uh, I'm sorry. Steve is the brother. Um, so anyway, yeah, the, there was this yeah, one yeah. episode where the entire school hated Steve. And Steve does have this girlfriend. I forgot her name, but um, yeah. basically that girlfriend gets me off the same vibe as Mona. But like the um the the girlfriend too. So at one point they were hiding in the stairwell of the high school where like you know the end of the hallway with a bunch of stairs yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So the emo people they were there. there. Yeah. And then Steve and the emo girlfriend were making up with each other. She wanted to protect them. So when all the people in the high school were coming to attack them, she told Steve and her and his friends to run off. And then she and her emo friends would like make a distraction from everybody else in the school, just you know, yeah. to not attack them. Yeah, yeah. You know what they did? No. They did like a hippie dance or like Egyptian dance. <laughs> oh. So I get that vibe off of Mona. What would you give her? I was thinking maybe B. I I, first, I said B A, too. but now I'm th I'm now thinking B. I was thinking B too. Ning Guang, okay, look, Ning Guang, she knows that she's the bad bitch. Yeah. So I would give her an A or an S. I was also thinking that too. I, I would say such similar taste. I would say her design is extremely unique, especially the the clothing that she wears. It's super cool. Mm -hmm. I would probably give her an S. I'd probably give her an S. I think she looks. I give super her an, cool. an an S or an A. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say S. I, I like her a lot. Her design, at least. She also looks like a lesbian. Yes, but that has nothing to do with anything. Oh, but I yes, she does. <laughs> Noel, okay, okay. Noel. She looks like a closeted lesbian. She, which, is, you know, she is the maid warrior. 
C, I give her an A. Strictly an A. Okay, I was going to say the same thing. We are on the same mind, mind link. Wait, wow, wait. Anna, you said C. She's, she's messed up. She's not messed up, okay? Let's talk about Anna. Just, the only, if you had to ask me the person that's messed up on this list, look look at Aloy and maybe Sayu, okay? Because they don't... I don't know. That's just... No, I was talking about Anna, not 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 Noel. I like Noel. Okay, Chi Chi. Chi Chi looks like an innocent little kid who's still trying to learn things in high school. Except she'll never get out of high school because she's so young. <laughs> but she's dead. Technically. She's dead, but she was really... Okay. She was um well um I would alive. say A. I was gonna say A or B. Yeah, I don't think as I think she matches with Klee. And Klee she's and better sons, than Dion. I know Klee is a little bit better. Wait. Just a slight better. Cause I feel like Chi Chi, she still tries to like reinvent herself every once in a while to make sure she's following whatever trend. Not trends, but like tries to always be different. She never tries to be the same. Yeah. I would say A. Yeah. A. There we go. Start again. All right. No, it's not the folder because um I, I'm using an external hard drive. Okay, anyway. Uh we're here to talk about Razor. What do you think of for Razor? I give him an A. An A. See, this is not okay. Here, here's a better picture. An A, huh? For how he's. I mean, he does seem like that. That like one kid who's like very rowdy and like just causes trouble all the time. Yeah, so I also feel like at the same time, in a sense, he is misunderstood by people. Most you, people. You would give him an A for that, though? I would give him an A because, you know, sometimes once the main character learns about them more, they realize that they've been through so much trauma in their life and they do need that sort of redemption. So I feel like there's a lot of character development. Just, and I feel I can't believe I'm saying that based on the fact of how he dresses. Yeah, I'll say because based off how he dresses, I would I'd say the highest would be a like a B. Because I kept thinking it's like Yeah. If it's C for can if it, it's C for cub, you know what I mean. But it could also be a an A for awesome. It could. I'm okay, so based off of the other characters, I don't think he matches A though. I feel like, like, I, I, like when I see I him, make... I don't go, Oh, that's cool, or you know what I mean? Maybe it might be me because I do think he's cool. It kind of makes me kind of think of him as like Sasuke in a way, I, unless uh, yeah. kind of like he comes out as that cool kind of vibe. But the colors like, of his clothes are like, you know, green and brown. It's very depressing looking. Like it's not cool colors. If you want depressing looking, I think depressing looking is like if the colors were like. Very dark, very mute. Like these. These colors, even though these are kind of dark, I can appreciate at least that the brown is very dark, but the yeah. green is very light and it contrasts with the dark. Yeah. It gives them kind of, it like it makes them stand out more at least. So that that's just And then whatever what the middle thing is, I don't even know what that is. Like a handkerchief? Yeah, so he's not even wearing a shirt. But he has a sweater. That's so, why I'm gonna yeah. give him a B. To me, he comes up. Yeah, he he basically just comes off as a character that's misunderstood. Yeah. No. Well. Yeah. That we know that though. But we know that for sure. Yeah, we already know that. But but yeah, based off and his hair is kind of too long. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't make sense on how it looks. <laughs> Look, I mean, if you think about other characters in Naruto, their their hair, their hair is a long. I I as like I, well, but the yeah, like feeble characters as as make I can sense. Remember. But also, like, I don't know how it sticks out of his head. You know, like, because he's wearing that sweater. It doesn't make sense. That, that's why I'm, I'm going to give him a B. Just because inconsistent. He's a cool character. Don't get me wrong. No, yeah, he's 
But Razor I just don't think he's cool. my DPS. That's he's also cool. mine. Yeah, but mine's stronger. <laughs> well, no, I know that, but but he's <laughs> also my main DPS. All right, next one. Sucrose. Sucrose. Okay. No, I still can't believe that one time I told you I believe Sucrose was a girl. I, I mean a boy. Oh, I'll say she is a girl. <laughs> Sucrose I'm going to give her like a, like a B or a C. Sucrose, obviously, she's very shy. A, very smart. The one, the way she dresses, it does look like she's very shy, but she tries to act sexy, but she doesn't have the confidence in her uh -huh. to allow herself to be able to attract guys. Be the beautiful butterfly that one. she was meant to be. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking. What I said, B, C? I was thinking A or B. A or B? So I was thinking A or B, and I was thinking A. You were thinking B or C. So yeah. it sounds like the proper middle ground could be like a B. B. I'm okay with that. Okay. So he goes by Tartag. Yeah, Tartag. Or Child. Okay, Tartaglia. Um, you are so biased. Okay, look, Anna. Like I know we are razor mains in a way, but look, we're going. <laughs> we're biased. Like, I know it, that's sad because we are shallow right now. It just yeah, you know. I I mean we could do this next time too when like I'm properly buzzed because even though I am feeling it right now, I can say whatever the hell I want. But like <laughs> I'm just buzzed. Okay, I'm not even tipsy, and I'm super sad about that because like look, I am fun when I am drunk. Okay, because I will say red. Okay, you know I can't even say it because you can second that. No, even when I was gonna say, even when I'm not drunk, I will still say random stuff. You yeah. know, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> like I know. Oh, we know that even Jason knows that because he's like what. You know what? I, I remember this. I'll, I'll bring this up. It's not Genshin relevant. I it's remember fine, fine. When, when I used to go to your house often when we uh -huh. were younger, with, especially Jason before he finished high school, yeah. I would say these random things. And then Jason would be like, Michael! <laughs> like, he couldn't believe I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd be like, yeah, I did do that. You know, and I don't care I did that. But, you know, I did. Yeah. All right, what would you give child or an tart? S or an A. Okay, thank goodness. I was thinking A. <laughs> like him a lot. He, I like how his shirt or, you know, what he's wearing as a top, mm -hmm. it splits from the mid to the bottom. It does make him cool in the boots that he has. It makes him look like a skinny, or like a real skinny person. And he has a the cool mask, too. He does, yeah. Yeah, and he's got the red, um, not a handkerchief, like a scarf or something? Like, like a kind of a scarf that just yeah. hangs out, and it kind of contrasts with the color of his outfit, at least. So, so to me, also, just based off of looks, he gives me, um, D Luke vibes. D Luke vibes, but in the yeah. sense, like, he's Tartaglia is more approachable. Yeah, like everything that we said about him. Yeah, he, yeah. Please. Just like D look, except yes, more more. So he's definitely getting an A. Mm -hmm. All right. So you know, I can't believe it. it's taking us such a long while to be able to get through like half the list already. You know, it's I been an hour. It has been an hour, but I'm also just surprised at how many characters Genshin is able to introduce. Well, it's because been... like it, oh, yeah, it makes year, me think, yeah. especially in um, because they do want to be able to. Seven nations introduced to all of them. Eventually, the yeah. It's going to be a long years, time. Let's say. How I many don't... characters are there going to be? I know. You know? Probably hundreds. That's, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I, I kind of think, like, I'm very much surprised that how many characters you're able to get because Genshin, what they're doing, and how much, you know, I still can't believe I'm playing Genshin. Of all things I could be playing. Because you know me, I'm play I always play platformers, but the Genshin is one of the first game I played as a 3D platformer. Oh well, you played shit. Mario Super. No, 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 no. No, fuck. Oh what? fudge. What? I think the tipsiness is hitting me now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is no, that something that you feel? No, I just started feeling like a sudden 
rushed in my head. I was just like, like, oh my god! I just like, like it makes me want to sing "High by the Beach" by Lana Del Rey. Like, I just feel like I just want to move what? around, like as if nothing's happening around me. Just feel free and open. By the way, I give Ben T an A because he does like a lesbian who did. A he looks like a lesbian. <laughs> Uh, no, okay, because like, hold on, I have to look at this really quick. But I will say Anna and Brian. Let's move on to Shang Ling, though. <laughs> okay. She looks like a little hoe. <laughs> That's the first thing you came up with. Yes, that's actually the first thing I've always had in my head. <laughs> Were you explaining the other thing just so you can? Yeah. Now, I was explaining the other thing just because, like, I feel like at least for me, me trying to be philosophical, I think it's a good sign for me to try to be sober just because it's, you know, it's almost 1 a.m. I have no plans on Sunday, but I would still at least try to enjoy my Sunday, you know? Of course. You don't want to be like headaches or anything. Dude, when I had a hungover one time, I remember my big dad, he tried to take us to. No, he didn't really? try to take us. He took us to a car auction to get my sister a car. And the car auction was in Riverside. Were you planning on going in the first place or no? I think I was stuck going. Oh, no, but like, did you get, like, did you know you were going to go? Yeah, and I had and such you... a bad hangover that day. Oof. So, Xiang Ling, I feel like, you know, like, I would say A. I would say B. B? B. But you and Anna did say A. I say B. I mean, she's got me, a band-aid on her knee. She Very also cool. does look like a hoe. <laughs> ah, A? Actually, I think I can see her as a B. But she seems like she has a bubbly personality, though. Time's a cut. What? <laughs> what? Wait, no, I just said she likes to cook. Oh. Oh, she cook? Like... <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I think his hairstyle is weird. For Xiao, I think like he looks like the bad boy in the high school. I mean, also, he's just wearing, like, like a tank top. He is, which is very, very actually con, kind of common in the K-pop back. Oh, actually, I'm going to the list. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, Xiao, what, what do you give him? Uh, A or B. A or B. I'm going to go with B. Okay. Uh, Sing Chu. Sing Chu. B. Yeah, I, I'd say B. I mean, it's it's the frilly clothes that like kind of, you know. Okay, uh, Sin Yan, Pyro Girl. Well, Sin Yan, I give her like a, a C or a D, leaning more towards like a C. D or D. C. Or D, like C, oh, like D, huh? cat D. Like... No, okay, Michael, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> D or D, huh? I would say C. She has a guitar. That's pretty cool. Okay. I was in college. I woke up in a post office. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Okay, Zong Li S. Zhong Li, yeah. He has S -tier. a certain coolness about him that I like. Yeah, S tier, dude. He's the first male. S tier. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's her name? Rosaria. S. Rosaria. I, I want to say I actually give her an S or an A big stuff. Yes. I know how she dresses and such physical appearance wise, but also at the same time, I want to take into her account like, her, like I guess how she dresses. Also, kind of reflects on her personality. Yeah. So S. That's for Brian. Okay, Eula. Eula. Is that her name? She's an E or an A. E or an A. 
I like her a lot. She looks cool. I'd give her an A. I'm gonna give her an A. She looks cool. Uh, Hu Tao. Wait, Boo no, Yan Fei, Yan Fei, Yan Fei, Yan Fei. Yan Fei, she's she's a she's C? like an amper in a way. I would say C. <laughs> I was gonna say A. Okay, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll put her with Amber in B. Okay. Okay, I think that's Azuha. Azuha, uh, A or S. I am a big samurai guy. I do love me a samurai guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I remember in college, I took a class on Japanese culture. I was so nervous during the presentation. I was talking about how... I I forgot which anime I was talking about, but there was this anime where like the guy main character he had to say goodbye, like he had to say farewell to this girl he liked, and I uh-huh. was so nervous. But I said, I was like, oh yeah, so he you know he really liked this girl, but because of his and her personality differences, he drugged her and put her to sleep so that way he could ship her off to wherever she was able to land because he always knew that he wouldn't be able to compliment her in terms of her lifestyle she did so you know bye bye like i don't know what show that is i forgot what show but if if i if i hear the name i will know oh all right see you later chaos left the thanks for stopping by have a good sleep. Yeah, have a good sleep. Oh, she's power. a lawyer, but she wears too little clothes, so she's like a slutty lawyer. Uh, Yan Fei? No, but she could be like, you know, Elle Woods, you know, from Legally Blonde. I Is that a movie? Yes. Never seen it. You know how she won a court case? No, I didn't see it like... <laughs> Okay, but so I'll tell you how. Okay, let's let's hear it. She won a court case because so there was the the defendant was his wife. Her husband died, right? Okay, yes. But Elle Woods was the able to win the court case because she found out the daughter got a perm that she was not supposed to wash off in like a week or two okay so there was no way for her to have heard the gunshot that killed her dad mm-hmm. because she got the perm i don't know what that is but okay i'll send you the video later <laughs> maybe tomorrow michael okay so how many characters do we have left or who's the next Eight? one okay next your mia B. She's got a fan. She's got that giant rope thing. B. I say a B. Okay, I'll go with B. Uh, Sayu. Oh, uh, B. B? I, I thought you didn't like her. Oh, I didn't care about her, actually. But I'd give her a B. I like her giant raccoon tail, though. Okay, I don't know who this character is. Okay, Michael. Hello. We're almost done. We got five. Okay. So the next one's Ball. I'm giving her S. Me too. Okay, good. <laughs> no questions. Okay, uh, Sarah. Sarah, I give her an A. Okay, I I can go with A. Okay, uh, K- Kakomi. <laughs> uh, In terms I of like looks, she's not bad. But yeah, I her design's her... awesome. What's her name again? It's a. Uh... Oh, San Sango... Sanganomiya. Yeah, a B, right? I told you I took Japanese, right? I think so. Yeah, I'll give her. You said B, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'll give her B. That's fine. Okay, so last two is Alloy or Aloy. Alloy, I've actually never really played with her, so I can give an opinion. Well, she's coming out soon. Oh, come on, Anna. You think Kokomi is S. We think Kokomi is whatever the heck we gave her. I said B. Did you say B? I don't know what I said anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. So Alloy, so do we just have to give her a D by default? Alloy. I feel like Yeah, she's cut on PlayStation, she's out. They give it to they're giving her for free. But on PC, she she's coming in the next patch. Mm. So I I'll just put her C. Okay, and then the last character, what's his name? Toma? Toma, okay. Oh, I give him an A. Is that is because that his he name? just looks like the type of guy? I, they don't have that, a him yet. He looks like the type of guy that's popular. Everyone likes him. Popular and everyone likes him. Yeah, he looks kind of cool. But yeah, I can give him A. And that's it. That's our chair list for basically. For us being shallow based on the people we didn't <laughs> look appropriate based on the tier list. Okay, so this is right. Oh, hold on. Never mind, I can't. I was going to try to move the webcam, but the freaking uh, Streamlabs kind of froze. It's probably because you're recording. It's just so funny because... <laughs> the computer's not Whatever. strong. I mean, everything you've recorded of me is basically drunk. So whatever you decide to post on you, I mean, I'm no pressure, obviously, because no, nobody's going to really know my name unless you include my name in it and they know who I am, but you know. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, anything that's that we shouldn't have said, I'll, I'm gonna take that out. But I don't think we've said anything crazy. that bad, to be honest. No, we didn't say anything that bad, unless I said, you know, Shaolin's a hoe. Yeah, but no, but that makes it funny. Like that's not <laughs> that's not personal. That's just a character. <laughs> I know. I, oh, I I know Anna. It does not match your tier list at all because. Look at us. We have different forms of how we rate each character. The way that it sounds like you're like your breath over <laughs> speaking is just hilarious. That's just how I am when I was like, I guess drinking too much. Maybe even like um sobering up. I, I guess that's why it goes back to the whole maturity thing. Where, like, I know at least where I am or where I stand in terms of how much I drink. And you can always tell when I start to be sober or drink like crazy, you know? Because, well. Did you just zip something? What? Did you just zip something up? Zip what? I don't know. I just heard it. I don't think I did. I don't know anymore. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, I'm gonna try to not. To not what? I don't know anymore. Yeah, I don't know what you're about to say. <laughs> I just, uh, I just yeah. Wanted... So basically, what it seems like is a lot of the characters are either A or B, like mostly A, B tier. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, we went through this whole list together. We went through this whole list together, but like at least I'm not in bed now. I just try to be like trying to reconfigure my life together. <laughs> yeah, you drink a little too much. Probably did. You were worried about it not uh... affecting me. 
Not I think yet. I'm just impatient. No, that's a thing too because so wait, um, Anna and Chaos Lespa. Tell me if you know because I know Brian does it. Oh, oh, thank you, Chaos Lespa. I know I am a champion. Thank you. You yep. have a champion now. I mean, Michael, you definitely are a champion. Oh, I know. Um, well, Anna, do you care about zodiac signs like Sagittarius and? Just give her a minute to respond. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, do you care about that stuff? I always think it's interesting just because, like, I know, like, some of my uh, research lab mates, some of them are Geminis. And then I'm, like, one of the only Sagittarius. Actually, I am the only Sagittarius person. Curious now. But I am. No, um, because you, you, your zodiac sign for your Ameri- when it no, when you're a Sagittarius or Pisces or whatever, it's based on the month you're born, not your Chinese one. Oh, I'm looking up the American one. I I put my yeah June birthday. I don't remember. Oh, astrology. What it's called. Yeah. I'm interested in astrology, but. Would not like to talk with the person because like this. Oh, okay. So oh, I wouldn't. Talk. What? But not like I wouldn't. Oh, so she would. Oh, I'm a cancer. But what's my astrology? No, no, your your astrology is cancer. I know my that was a joke. Okay. My lucky numbers are two, seven, eleven, sixteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Oh, seven, eleven. Dang. My lucky day is a Monday. That is not true at all. Oh, come on, Anna. Look, first of all, have I made you laugh during the... No, she's saying... It, she... today. It's been like freaking four hours since I've been talking kind of... <laughs> she's she's <laughs> saying if you make her laugh, it's going to make her t- take longer to type. Well, yeah, I mean, like, come on. How, how, how else are we gonna, no, you're gonna laugh unless you join us? <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people freaking laugh before they can finish their sentences. <laughs> well, I mean, like, how else? Because you I... know it's gonna be funny. That, that's why. You don't know any Sagittarius person? Oh, actually, Anna, I'm a Sagittarius. Michael, it says you and I don't get along normally. <laughs> but a little BS. Because look at this right now. <laughs> <laughs> it says I get yeah. along with Taurus the most. And I am a Sagittarius. If you go to my Instagram, look for a picture of me. And then you'll know. I mean, I don't really take these into, like, you know, the heart or anything. I mean, also in the sense, so even though I know these are zodiac signs, they just say these things, but it it's not all, it's not always true. No, I will say, Anna, it's funny too because I'm in research lab. So, because what? In my research lab. Oh, research and, lab. Okay. Me and this other girl, we are Sagittarius, but it's just funny because. Um. Sorry, I had to burp. Um, oh no, that's fine. Me and this other girl were Sagittarius, but it's just funny because amongst the people in the research lab, they didn't like her that much. They did like me a lot more, obviously. But I just obviously. <laughs> No, 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 no. Said, not, not obviously. You I mean, said... like, I, no, I meant to say interestingly. Oh. <laughs> I'll say, like, you know, they don't like her, but they like me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we're both Sagittarius. Yeah. But I just thought it was interesting because even though we're Sagittarius, we have different personalities, but I gravitated more towards them than she did to them. 
Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. But we're both Sagittarius. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, so we finish. Okay. Yep, we're good. So you can go to sleep now, Michael. I know, but I'm just like being a little crazy in bed. I'm just like moving around so much. Like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gosh.